Sam Wilson, aka The Falcon, was the first African-American superhero in mainstream comics. No, not Black Panther. He's just African, not African-American. But with how popular The Falcon has been in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, let's take a look back and look through his comic book history and origins. Sam Wilson was raised on the streets of Harlem and always had an affinity for birds. In fact, he claims to have had the largest pigeon coop in the entire city, though living in the ghetto wasn't all fun and games. In fact, both of Sam's parents were murdered in front of him, with his father being killed after trying to break up a fight and his mother being shot down by a common mugger. This left Sam as the head of the household, and before he turned 18, Sam was working three jobs jobs to support his siblings, but he still found time to volunteer at local shelters. But when his siblings were good on their own, Sam became an international aid worker, and when returning home from a trip to Rio de Janeiro, he accidentally crash-landed on an island controlled by bad dudes. But guess who else was randomly there? A little-known guy called Captain America, who changed bodies with his arch-nemesis the Red Skull because of some tomfoolery with the powerful Cosmic Cube, and because comics. Working alongside Captain America, Sam took up the mantle of the Falcon and he helped free the island, help get Steve's body back, help defeat the Red Skull, and return to the United States with Captain America as the newest and hottest crime-fighting duo. So all of this makes Sam out to be a pretty nice guy, right? Well, he actually wasn't. You see, apparently Sam's entire early history was all an illusion. What really happened after Sam's crash landing was that he was discovered by the Red Skull, who used the Cosmic Cube to brainwash Sam, give him fake memories, a desire to be a hero, and the ability to talk to birds because comics. In reality, Sam actually joined the mob after his mother's death under the name Snap Wilson and really crash landed on his way back from a huge drug trafficking score in Rio de Janeiro. This was the status quo for years, but in 2015 it was made ambiguous if Sam's early criminal career was real or just the Red Skull messing with him. Captain America writer Rick Remember elaborated on this in an interview with quote, there never was a Snap Wilson. Snap Wilson was a construct of the Red Skull. He was an attempt to defame Sam. Though personally, I like it not set in stone, and I enjoy Falcon's struggle with the uncertainty of his own past. Regardless, Sam took up a job as a social worker in Harlem, while also fighting alongside Captain America, but he quickly started to feel outclassed. I mean, this guy is literally a super soldier. To help out, Cap reached out to his good friend Black Panther, who designed Falcon his now iconic vibranium wings. Later though, the Panther redesigned them so that the wings were made out of solid light, and he even threw in a vibranium microwave costume for good measure. Falcon originally joined the Avengers as a favor to Captain America because the team needed to fill a quota thanks to affirmative action. But having not been a fan of being the token black guy, Falcon quit as soon as he could. Since then though, he's been an on and off member of the team. You know, just like pretty much every other Marvel superhero. Though to quote Sam himself, I was never what you'd call a big fish in the superhero pond. So he decided to try to help a different way by running for Congress. Yet when his criminal past came to light, Sam lost the race and went right on back Back to being Falcon. Sam worked solo for a good length of time before briefly teaming back up with Cap for a quick miniseries, but his next major role wouldn't be until the Superhuman Civil War. Now, oddly enough, Sam's identity as the Falcon was publicly known for years. Heck, when his time as Snap Wilson was first revealed, Falcon's trial for his crimes was broadcasted all over the world. Even so, when Captain America stood up for the Superhumans to have a right to a secret identity, Sam joined right alongside him. In fact, Falcon was the unofficial second-in-command and even filled in for Captain America when he was injured. Since Civil War, Falcon was relegated to the background, appearing in various teams like the Heroes for Hire and the Mighty Avengers. However, when Falcon finally made a movie appearance in Captain America 2 Winter Soldier, Sam started to get bigger roles in the comics. Most notably, when Steve Rogers was drained of his super soldier serum and turned into an old man, he was unable to continue on as Captain America, so he passed the shield onto Sam, turning him into what I like to call Captain Falcon! Falcon. As the new Captain America, Sam was a prominent member of the Avengers and was affected in the Axis event where the bad guys became good and the good guys became bad. The inverted Captain America was heartless and brutally took down even the pettiest of criminals. He even worked with his fellow inverted Avengers to try and kill the X-Men and shut down the mighty Avengers. Though after being turned back to normal, Captain Falcon pulled himself away from S.H.I.E.L.D. after he publicly opposed putting a whistleblower on trial. Instead of taking S.H.I.E.L.D.'s backing, Sam went solo and had misadventures, such as getting turned into a wolf and recruiting his own Falcon sidekick, but instead of having artificial wings, this kid was literally 
part Falcon. Yet, despite being busy with his solo career, Sam still finds time to lead the Avengers, and he's in a pseudo relationship with the current Thor, Jane Foster. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the time of this recording. But if you'd like to read more of Sam Wilson's adventures, then I'd recommend checking out Captain America and the Falcon, all new Captain America, and all new all different Avengers. And if you want to learn more about one of Captain Falcon's teammates on the Avengers, then just click that annotation right here to see my complete history video of Miles Morales, the Spider-Man. Oh, and do you guys like the redesign of this set? I actually am kind of digging it. This would not have been possible without the support of you guys on Patreon, so thank you guys so much. If you want to support the show, then of course take a look at the Patreon. We can just keep improving, 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 but you can also like, comment, follow me on Trailer Drake, all the other generic social media stuff. So that's that. But I do want to say thank you for watching. I appreciate all of your support, even just sticking with me this far. So thank you. I would not be able to do this without you.